So congratulations. Uh, first thoughts of arriving home is uh, what was going through your head when you hit the uh, the uh, field at uh, Cohen Field. Uh, well, first there's there are a bunch of news cameras and we got to pull the trophy off the our fake Air Force One plane and got down and just got to share it first with the reporters. We had a few fans out there and then driving up I-5 with the police escort was so cool. It was the most like amazing thing. And, we finally got here and saw some uh, reporters and some cameramen scrambling to get here on time and you could just see the parts of the people that were standing right outside here and you just knew there was a whole slew more of people and it's just awesome to have the student athletes be able to experience that. That's what it's all about. Uh, as a player, someone that played in this World Series, came so close and finally as a coach, uh, how can you sum that up as someone that's been there, done that and, and finally you achieved it? Finishing second is the worst thing possible. <laughs> And finishing first is the most amazing thing in the world. And it's just so awesome to be able to share this with the university, the athletics department, Seattle, everybody. And it's a lot of people go into helping us get to where we are. And it's just cool to bring this thing home for, for all to share. Who was the first person that you wanted to talk to after you won it? Uh... Um, I wanted to talk to my mom and dad. Yeah. Just go up and grab them and... Just hug them. Yeah. What's next? How do you talk to uh, We enjoy it and reflect and figure out how to do it again next year. How much time are you going to give yourself to enjoy it before you go back to the, you know, go back to the Oh, next we're season? going recruiting in a few days. So recruiting begins and reflection begins shortly thereafter. It's going to probably be a lot easier to recruit, isn't it, in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, bring it on. Who wants to be a dog? <laughs> yeah. Nobody, not everybody can do it. Yeah. Only a few can come. So we'll see who the lucky ones are. Talk about some of the... Talk about what the seniors meant to the program. Just an amazing group of seniors, all seven of them. They are all different people, and for just the look in their eyes when we walked off the field for the final time, it was just, I was just so happy for them to be able to have this experience, and they deserve it. They work hard, um, they're unselfish, they're tough kids, and it, it's just great to have them go out on top. That being said, you also have a nice class of underclassmen coming back. Uh, what do you what do you tell them to focus on during the offseason? Well, we, we we lose a lot of great players, but the the promising thing is how great our underclassmen showed throughout the whole postseason, and that's just huge for us. And they're going to be the next leaders, and I think they were shown a great way of leadership this year. And next year, I know the next group of leaders are going to do a great job as well. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? <laughs> I am going to feed my cat and. Sleep. Sleep. All right. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you.